G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is an anti-armor pole hook with 40% faster swing speed as a secondary legendary effect. So a pretty damn solid setup, we're going to get high DPS and punch through a lot of armor, not only from the anti-armor legendary effect and also the incisor perk, but also since this puncturing thing actually gives you armor penetration, so a lot of the damage that we'll see on here will be translated quite well to the enemies. It'll punch through a lot of their armor, which is great. Now the pole hook in general is quite an underrated weapon, I think. The super sledge team to be what the community holds as a top sort of weapon when it comes to the slugger but honestly the pole hook is better and I'll demonstrate why in just a second but we're doing 142 damage and just for a little bit of a um comparison here we've just got a bloodied super sledge obviously none of that bloodied stuff is activated now it is out damaging it slightly but again this thing is not going to get any of the armor penetration benefits out of our anti-armor one so let's go ahead and chuck on some perks we're going for a melee focus build because it's a slugger weapon which means you hold it in two hands so let's go ahead and find out where all the slugger perks are i'll be a um, master slugger up next and then regular slugger somewhere down here i've also got a uh, bloody mess as always in luck to boost our damage ever so slightly more now we're doing 261 which is a hell of a lot better but like i said before we're getting outpaced by this but once we actually get to hitting stuff we might actually get better damage at least at this stage where our health is at 100 percent with the actual anti-armor swing speed pole hook but i'll show you why the reason why it's a lot better right now actually Okay, time to stomp Shrek and his mates once more, and all of my stuff is unyielding as usual. We won't see much benefits of that until we actually get to a health where we'll actually see that benefit. So we're kind of just going bare bones here. We could go a lot better than 261, but we've got a couple of perks here and there that'll help us out. So reason number one why the pole hook is better than the super sledge, you start swinging it around, nobody panics. But as soon as you start swinging around the super sledge... Everybody loses their minds! And now I have to regain stealth, which is annoying. There we go, it just kind of bugged on me. The game reset itself for me. And not exactly one-shotting these guys as of yet. Maybe for power attack to the noggin, that'll deal with them nice and quickly. But as we get more shots on us which means more strength from our unyielding, unyielding bits and more adrenal reaction and in general um, higher adrenaline as per kill I feel like we'll be going pretty well I like how a nuclear explosion right next to me deals absolutely no damage that's one of those bugs in the game that is rather useful because if it doesn't damage you you don't really have to worry about it I never really pay the suicide as much mind they're a lot more scary in Fallout 4 and we're at pretty much nerd rage threshold now, but we're boosting this thing to 639 damage, but it's hard to compare when I've got an anti-armor and a bloodied one. Obviously, the bloodied super sledge is going to be far out damaging us, but the enemies will be far out damaging me because they can see me because the super sledge is a loud weapon. It's got a big um, rocket engine on the back, and um, people will... will they'll, they'll figure it out. They'll figure out where you are right quick. Take these super mutants, for example. Sure, I'm in caution right now. They don't know where I am, but as soon as I swing this bad boy, oh, they've found where I am. And now I'm going to get hammered by some guy with a missile launcher. Watch out for the guys with the super sledges themselves because, uh, okay, apparently that guy put his missile launcher away, which was good. Was that a skirmisher? Okay, it still would have killed me. It's, it's interesting to see that they spawn skirmishers in such a high level place when everything else is of top level. But if we can maintain our health here and I don't have any healing perks like, um, what's it called? Born Survivor to keep our health ticking up when we get into this shit. I feel like we'll be okay with all of that extra damage. Yeah, 875. We're not too far off. What? And this is without the bloodied effect. If we turn the bloodied effect on. I mean, sure, but you're going to get shot a lot because people will actually see you. This is much more stealthy, much more versatile. But if you do want to use this in power armor and don't mind enemies, you know, having, knowing where you are and hitting you, then that's totally valid too. But always remember, you could be as loud and proud as power armor you want, you won't get killed, but you won't get damage like that, 2106. Maybe with a bloodied one, but still, you don't have the ability to use stealth, which means you don't have those extra three times multipliers. Maybe I should have brought out my anti-armor super sledge for a better... <laughs> 
Um, do I even have one of those? I'm pretty sure I do. Anti-armor swing speed super sledge for better comparison purposes, but it's it's the functionality is the same to be honest with between this and the bloody. Except this one, you can actually get away with sneaking about. See, escape artists work just then. People tell me all the time. Escape artist is broken, it doesn't work for me. No, you need to get good at using stealth. You need to figure out what makes the AI tick in this game and how to manipulate your surroundings to make sure it actually happens. Standing in the dark is a great way of doing that. Especially, especially if you have shadowed armor. I know there's countless people probably lining up to tell me, oh, why don't you have Brotherhood of Steel armor on, on your combat armor? Well, here's why, because shadowed is better. Extra sneakiness in dark places. Fuck you, by the way, super mutant. Okay, we are being swarmed here, so let's just back off a little bit and regain stealthiness, perhaps. No, it looks like they're keen on knowing where I am. Oh, I just crippled my head. That's okay, you don't need a head for swinging at people. We don't need this accuracy. I've got a sharpness filter on anyway, so we're totally fine. But yeah, okay, so apparently these super mutants aren't falling for ye old escape artists today. And there's three in here. That's an unusual thing. But with the way they're reacting to me, I feel like I'm just fine. There we go, back in the danger once more. Once we kill that guy, we should probably be alright. And we got an immediate heal up from leveling up, which is good, I guess. We can sort of reset our health before we go into the hell room. And, yeah, like that. You can actually be at full health and one shot a Super Mutant Warlord with this thing, provided you get the Snake Criticals, which is a lot harder to do in Power Armor. So if you want to do a Power Armor tank build where you want to keep your extra health, then maybe this thing is... It's a good idea to carry this around. And I probably would be getting slightly more damage if I had three out of three in Incisor. But since I have to carry a lot of ammo around for the... Um, versatility of my current build we can't get the full benefits of that not that it really matters maybe it'll matter one day if i ever try to take on an sbq with a um with the melee weapon which i probably will chuck on i probably will go full fucking swing in melee in that because you know it's a special occasion being staggered, however, is not fun, and I hate this non-walking bullshit, so if you could accompany me to the cage match room, there we go. And the swing speed on these sorts of slugger weapons, can I hit through here? No, I can't. You know, you can shoot through that super mutant. You're totally okay to do that. It's like I've got bone worms or something, because my limbs are shattering like you wouldn't believe today. I'm just going to fucking jam a stim pack in me because I'm tired of this waiting around. Alright, we'll keep on going here. I've already done a bloody swing speed version of this. Is that explosion on me or is that on top of... I think that was above me. That's okay. So running up and power attacking them seems to deal with them pretty easily, especially at this health. So it's honestly, it's not really hard to do well with a weapon like this, but... Yeah, I, I do recommend using the pole hook more over the super sledge for the, like, the armor penetrating capabilities of this. Uh, kind of what really makes it. If you're not really into stealth or don't know how to do stealth all that much, then you're still probably better off using a pole hook anyway, because I don't think this thing is as nearly as heavy. This, okay, that's weightless, but still, I've also got martial artists, so weight really isn't too much of a problem, especially for melee characters who have high strength anyway, so. Oh, you're a three-star warlord. How may you disappoint me with a one-star drop today? Ooh, it's a two-star with radiation resistance. How useful. At least it's context sensitive. Let's move on to something else. Okay, so the ghouls are going to be the next ones to die. And I just got to remind myself how much of my armor is sentinels. One, two, three. Ah, that's just reduced damage whilst blocking. Okay, so I've got three, which is, um, it's all right. I I've got two more sentinels bits. I think what I'd like best for... My current armor in this build is probably something like light combat armor, shadowed, um, unyielding, obviously. Alright, let's see what we kind of damage we can reduce whilst blocking. Okay, that was horribly timed, but yeah, we've got the damage to take these guys out, and fuck off, Radroach. Question is, okay, we're fine. We're good. We'll just get a little bit of a heal up, and honestly, let's just fucking go food building. That's about to spoil, so we might as well eat it while we can. And now we get extra damage. Isn't that nice? 
but yes, light combat armor because lightness helps you sneak and it's not very heavy in your inventory. Maybe deep pocketed or perhaps obviously deep pocket on the limbs, but pneumatic on the torso because reducing stagger is important, especially for a melee character. Um, increase a AP regen. That's probably one of the more useful things. Or you could probably get away with not having that with melees because you don't need to use vats all the time. But definitely sentinels or maybe cavaliers. It's a, I don't know. Nothing's really attacking you whilst you're sprinting. You're usually moving too fast. That is why I hate being staggered. Fuck you, rad stagdo. You picked a wrong time. You picked the wrong moment to walk in front of me. Anyway, so let's get a little bit more serious now. Like I said before, you always kind of want to run these weapons with stealth because not being killed is a fucking good idea, to be honest. Now, we are in danger because, I don't know, the stealth seems a little bit worse today than what it usually is. Okay, he just jumps headlong into a wall, gets immediately destroyed, and then some fucking moonwalking zombos. But we've got the swing speed to take him out pretty easily and if we didn't get killed there a little bit earlier it would have been a pretty solid run but you know you've got the damage to one shot these guys it's just whether they uh, you allow them to swarm you or not which can um spell whether you win or lose and obviously with stealth you can pretty much turn that to your favor all the time provided you can keep the stealth up which apparently i'm struggling with today i don't know really know why i'm probably sending it a little bit too hard but i think you get the point this bastard is blocking my fast travel out of here. Take that. And you too. I think having the super sledge in my inventory and swinging it a few times has made the enemies annoyed with me or something. I don't really know. So I've just equipped the shotgun and equipped this back and we'll see how we do against old mate Swan. If we can kill him before he spots us, that would be useful, which we just did. So that was pretty good. And we're at almost full health through that entire thing. So, you know, speaks pretty well to the anti-armor swing speed pole hook. There's blood all over it, including the shaft, which is... That's a giggity moment, but still, how to get there? Okay, time to go fishing with this thing. And apparently this river is full of, or this lake is full of crabs so hopefully we can get some good work here didn't quite one shot the Milot king like i thought we would but we've got some basic other crabs in our way here which we can dispatch rather easily there's the glowing one we've got glow sight we hit him for 5k in the noggin which is very very solid indeed i like that you can die i can hear one more stomping around just here and just to annoy the queen because everyone has a hate boner for super sledges. Ha! If that doesn't prove to you that the super sledge doesn't break stealth, well, what will? 2019, 2019, current year, yay! Ha! That's at least context sensitive for whatever months remain of this year. So, yep using stealth and yeah it seems to be working a little bit better now i'm not really sure what happened with the ghouls and super mutants but now we're we're, we're doing all right now all right the rng tables are rumbling and the drums are going let's see what the train yard smash has for us today we have mongrels okay basic doggos all right this should be a piece of piss for a pole hook as we've just taken a my alert queen and Looks like we can run up and one-shot them with power attack, so I think the biggest threat to our health around here will be the radiation damage, or if they decide to cripple me, which induces a stagger, stops my controls from going, or if they hide in the water, which apparently cuts off your ability to vats, which is consistent with the rest. Even if they're obscured by one single polygon, vats is like, not there, bro. But luckily for me... Um, the doggo sort of ran off and they're, they're very derpy in this game. They don't seem really switched on like something like a rad scorpion, which will hunt you down to the ends of the earth, or a bear even, which is somewhat related to the doggo, I think. That's where they came from, right? I'm not a nature expert, but I think I heard that somewhere. Anyways, there's some bats and I'm going to go jam a pole hook in their noggins. Alright, so Ninja has been swapped out for Enforcer, 
And basically, we're going to use that against a Scorch Beast. And also, I've kind of realized why my stealth has been inconsistent. Well, that was some weird behavior. It's because since I'm constantly fluctuating health is going up and down, I don't have the same agility as I would if I was using this weapon at, say, Nerd Rage Threshold, where Unyielding would be kicking into full. Now, when you're going to go ahead and hit Scorch Beast with Enforcer, make, you break their wings and make them land. Make sure they're close to you, because the last thing you want to do is to run around and, you know, have to run a considerable amount of ground to actually go up and whack them. That there was probably too far, and now I have to creep up on them and almost get detected with the amount of... Yeah, I am detected now, because I had to run up a little bit, because he's not going to stay there forever. And he's giving us a shitload of rads too, but... And the staggers aren't really helping either. We'll just go ahead and use vats, because they don't have to aim. Oh, there's a cave cricket there. That's even less helpful. Luckily, he doesn't really hit all that hard. In fact, the thing that just come up and whacked me with a musical instrument hit harder. And also did an A pose after that too. Now, that was a lucky landing there. That doesn't always happen. And he doesn't bother to do his animations when he's hucking his sonic loogies at me. Which is just unfair to be honest. And now I've got the blight. That's good. That means I get less damage and I've got a leg crippled. Let us jump a stim pack in. So that's kind of why. Now I want to keep him on the ground. So if I were to just stop staggering me. I really fucking hate being staggered. I think... I think the um, extra damage that... Okay, I've just fucked myself over there because he's just going to regenerate all of his limb health anyway. But yeah, okay. I'm... Oh, never mind. He decided to land again. Very strange behavior, but yeah, without stealth, you can see this thing. I mean, it's still doing great damage. I think I am. No, I'm not getting the snake criticals because I'm not... You know, it's not showing on screen, but you can still do a fair amount of damage. It's just that... It's going to be hard to concentrate all of your attention on whacking that whilst there's other things around you. And just the amount of time that it did take for me to take out those bats there has made my health bar turn to basically radiation. There's just a random super mutant here too, which is aggroing everyone and turning everyone invincible or rather immune to sneak attack criticals because they're in a state of being aggroed. I'm pretty sure I get better damage out of this thing at this point. If you're looking to just cripple a few limbs because you hate the Scorched, then just hitting them with an explosive enforcer shotgun is a good idea, because they can't run up to you anymore. But I think you get the point of this thing. It's not the best melee weapon I've ever used, but it's not the worst. It's just kind of up there. Didn't do too well without Sneak, but once I did get Sneak going, are you going to spawn? No, you're not. Now I'm going to die to radiation. But once I did get Sneak going, it did pretty well, and if I had have chucked on Radical, I would have boosted my damage even more. But anyways, if what you've seen in this video has impressed you and you'd like to see this particular weapon in your game, hit me up. I'm not asking for a lot for it, just something interesting to make another video out of. And, you know, I wouldn't be too... Because uh, my caps at this point is high. Very high. I don't know, and it's not worth 3k, it's worth a little bit more than that. So, you know... If you're interested, hit me up. I might even grab it from you. Thank you very much for watching. I'm tired.